And good morning. Welcome back to the morning show. 73 degrees, 8.13 in the morning. With us is James O'Grady from JPO Productions. So this is really exciting. You know, it just dawned on me. So you've got this street fair here. You're, you're doing over there on Thames Street and Groton and put all this stuff together. And you've got some vendors. You've got hot dogs and everything. Do you know what this month is? July. Isn't it hot dog month? International. International hot dog month. It's, well, no, it's national hot dog. You want to you wanna work with the vendor. And we want to put on a gourmet and national hot dog dinner. Who are the vendors? What do you have coming down? Um, so the vendors that we have for this is uh, we have Ryan's Pub, which is a local uh, pub slash restaurant. They're going to be serving up their famous Ripper dogs, which are hot dogs wrapped in bacon. There you go, Dan. Yes. Yeah. Hot dogs wrapped in bacon. That's all I needed to say. And we have the best of everything, Country Gourmet, one of my good friends out in Niantic. So they're going to be cooking up uh, meat pies. And they're going to be doing cannolis for dessert. Oh, yeah. Hamburgers oh. from the half keg over in New London. So there's going to be food for everybody for purchase. Dan, this looks like you got it all. It's the Thames Street Family Fun Festival taking place. 355 Thames Street down in Groton tomorrow night. I, that's still like, that's a reality for me right now. All this planning that we've been putting for the past couple months. How many volunteers do you have working with you? We have about 15 to 20. A lot of it's my family, the old Grady family. So I got to shout them out. There's a couple watching. Deb, Casey McGrath, they've been doing really great getting the volunteers together and stuff. So I don't have all the names on the top of my head, but we actually do plan on doing a special announcement, which they don't know, but they might know if they're watching this. But we're going to be celebrating the volunteers throughout the day. You know, it's like I said, the whole, the point of the, the event is like family fun community you know so, so i want to recognize kind of, what kind of carnival games and things for kids so like the, the kitty um corner carnival games that we have set up we're going to be doing the duck pond um gone fishing we have the ring toss we have a prize booth set up so the kids will be able to come down play these games for free interact with other kids and then they'll be able to redeem these tickets for small prizes that we're going to be giving out yeah, no, and other other types of vendors at all or is that basically what a lot of it is activities so we're gonna have face painting we have the bounce house that we're gonna be putting together we're gonna have this jpo selfie booth you can come down here take a funny goofy picture just one of the things that that uh that i get what you're doing is um you're doing something good and nice for the community which i think um is something we all have to remember and we all have to reach out to other people and do every day we have to do something nice for somebody uh with that let's go to our break we'll be back in a couple of months upcoming weather forecast at eight